What I'm going to do is demonstrate how to set up a local development environment on your computer. You will have a plain installation of Laravel, as well as Twill 2.0 for the CMS. Twill includes a powerful command line for scaffolding all of your admin code. This setup I'm going to demonstrate is using Homestead and is not a requirement for working with Twill. You can use any stack at all or an application like MAMP or WAMP. The only real requirement is that you can set up and host a Laravel application. Two pieces of software that you will need from the beginning are VirtualBox and Vagrant. I will have some notes below with more information about this episode and links to the software and further configuration. We're going to first set up Homestead and Vagrant, get that running as our local server. Then we will install and configure Laravel. And finally, install and configure Twill. Let's begin on the command line and check for requirements. First, VirtualBox. Looks good. Now, Vagrant 2.26. And finally, the secure shell keys set in my home directory. I'll be using the id underscore rsa pair for my homestead setup. We'll press command K and clear out the terminal. I'm gonna set up Laravel by using the command line installer. At the time of this recording, that will install version seven. We'll generate a code base for a project we'll call weblog. We'll change directories into weblog and clear out our terminal. Next, we install homestead. And finally, Twill. I'll be using Twill 2.0 at the time of this recording. We clear out our terminal and create the homestead config file by running make. Now, switching over to my editor, I'll open the homestead.yaml file and make some changes for our Twill setup. The first thing I do is change the last IP group number in the supplied default. And the reason I do this is I have many projects using this setup and would like to avoid reusing the same address when possible. Next, we'll change our test domain mapped in the site's configuration. I'm going to copy this IP address and head over to our env file and paste it into our db host. The reason I configure our database hosting this way is to provide access to external applications like SQL Pro. Sometimes it's convenient to be able to access the data if I'm trying to diagnose a problem or see how things are working. These defaults will now change to use the defaults configured with our server. Homestead, Homestead, and Secret. Let's change the name of the application to Weblog. Here is a Twill specific configuration. We set domains for the public facing site as well as the secure admin part of the site, the area where you log in. There are two different options. One approach is to use the same domain but access the admin by appending the domain's path with backslash admin. In a later episode, I'll show you the other approach where we create an admin subdomain. And it doesn't need to be admin. It can also be secret or CMS. And finally, I'm adding a boilerplate configuration for handling our media. There are options to use different third-party services but for the sake of development, we'll work locally and utilize a package called Glide. Now let's switch back to our terminal and start the Vagrant server by typing Vagrant up. I'm going to clear the terminal and install Twill with the artisan command. As you can see, there was a migration, and now I'm being asked for an email and password. Initially, these are the credentials for the super admin. They are changeable from the Twill command line. I'm going to clear the terminal with a command K and perform some standard Laravel directory tasks. Now we access our Twill CMS by going to weblog.test slash admin. And here we have our default Twill admin page. Right away at the top, we have a link to the media library. Clicking on it brings us to an overview of where we manage media. Let's drag in a picture and drop for upload. Selecting it, we see more information like file name and dimensions, but we also see a little twill magic. The alternate text is generated based on the file name. Furthermore, we could update with classification tags or a caption for consistent description when rendered on a page using a blade template. After doing this setup a few times, you'll surprise yourself at how it becomes second nature. 
In future episodes, I plan to explore examples of Twill from the perspective of a practical developer. Thank you for watching this episode. Thank you.